Hi, this is Chris from Reviva. Um, we recently got back to New Mexico from a trip to Nicaragua that was supported by the U.S. Embassy in Managua and uh, in collaboration with a great nonprofit called Bluefield Sound System. Uh, it was a really unique experience for us and we learned a lot on this cultural exchange project um, that tries to promote safety, security, and sustainability um, through music. So uh, we really want to thank Lisette Gonzalez um, and John Fair and the U.S. Embassy for all your help, as well as Alexander Scott um, and all the musicians from Bluefield Sound System who put in your heart and effort uh, to make the, the trip a reality. And we hope that this is the start of something better so that Reviva can continue to work with young musicians uh, in different posts and regions of the world to inspire them to make good decisions and, and support their own communities. Going back to Nicaragua after spending nearly three years there as a volunteer, it was truly a unique experience. I'm lucky enough to be one of the few people who got to go back to their community after Peace Corps and return and just be myself. It took time and collaboration with the UM's embassy and Bluefield Sound System to make the trip a reality. We had to manage budgets, schedules, uh, and vacation time for everyone from Reviva to get down there. It was a lot of work and John Fair and Lisette Gonzalez, two hard workers from the U.S. Embassy in Managua at that time, really made a special effort to believe uh, in Reviva and the music and what we could do in our exchange project. Freestyle to my boy, I don't write them better, you know, when you write it. Song, you know. So much big promise you tell her you love her Tell her so much you want to be with her
Rasta man tune In the party we have vibes still unknown Be a ganja not enjoy the consume I am the empress who lock up in the room When I open that's the beauty of the moon Straight up in what I give my baby boo So girl come here you and your crew Make good party till the morning <laughs> Mexico man, sure. We can do it, man. We can revive can do it with blue field song system. Either we go and make an exchange with the work me together. Pool, work together. We make a remix with the me pool you know, so and with the, Why when you know people we, um, see that boy? What? Your your songs, you know. Yeah. No, so we make something, like man, and make like the people them dance in your area, man. We can do it just like how we do it here. Yeah. We can go and do it. Dear, you know how make your people them hear the difference to them, you know? Or we can do it live with Reviva. <laughs> Pick up Reviva. <laughs> yeah. Nicaraguans, especially on the coast, at that time we went down there, really needed a... They needed to be revived. They needed to express themselves. They have a strong culture, but they don't have a lot of materials that can help them express themselves. Our first concert in Managua was one of the most special nights, simply because we got to share the stage with Philip Montalban and his son, Thomas. Philip is from Bluefields, where a lot of our work was focused, and he is one of the most well-known and popular musicians in all of Nicaragua and Central America. Uh, he's an inspiration to to me and to a lot of young children uh, on the Atlantic coast of Nicaragua. Nice So 
being such a superstar, Philip hosted us with kindness and humility. It made us feel inspired to, to work with such a professional, so humble and also altruistic. The people in Managua that came to our show, they gave us really a warm welcome and they made us feel like we were contributing to, to them and, and their future. The trip went so quickly, before we knew it, we were on a tiny plane flying over the tropical rainforest, landing in the bustling city of Bluefields, Nicaragua, in the Ras. It's the home of Philip Montalban, as I said. The movement, the energy there is unparalleled and hard to match in any part of the you know, world. But here, Bluefields too is uh, music. Music is really important. Bluefield is the uh, city of the music. <laughs> So working with some of the artists in Bluefields, you know, we really felt like it was a once in a lifetime opportunity almost because they bring so much culture, so much history to their music. So when we met Papa Bantam and Master Pucci, uh, Kali Boom, Mr. Lion, um, Summerelli and all these great artists, you know, that we worked with, a lot of young people and up and coming talent on the coast. We learned a lot from them, uh, probably more than, than we taught them even, but they really taught us a lot about their culture, their rhythms, and their style of music. So a lot of the youth that we worked with, you know, they're talented, almost, um, they possess a talent that is almost better than a lot of, of youth in the United States, simply because they have a little bit more time to focus on that. Life is a little bit slower in Nicaragua, and especially on the coast. And uh, that gives you a little bit more time to, to work on what you love. But what they don't have uh, are material resources. So they don't have uh, the money to go out and buy a guitar. Or if, they, if their uncle has a guitar, they can't get strings, you know? Um, so it's a, it's a struggle and a challenge for these these youth and young adults to express themselves through music which does promote peace and security in their communities right because it relieves stress uh, and it brings people together and, and Raviva is learning to play the maple music what do you guys think of the maple music what you're learning to play well it's a nice rhythm good for dancing and it's real fast uh, introduce yourself and tell them what song you are singing Yo, yo, Marnie forgot I was, you know, I've been seeing one song, you know, and then, um, well, Maya, yeah, it's, um, it's a cover, you know, and I write some little letters in it. It's so nice, you know. Now, who are you? I'm Miss Loverboy. Y me nesa nunge alo, 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 y baila lo, baila lo, baila lo, baila lo, baila lo, baila lo, con style, you know, Maple, you know, big up the Maple, Loverboy, Reviva, big up Reviva, you don't know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bless. Yeah, boy. All right, so these songs, I'm going like a concourse. This is a concourse of these songs. So the winner of this yeah, song is going to win a cash prize, and they're also going to get to go on the hit up to go to Per Laguna in Orinoco. Per Laguna is the 17th Saturday, and Orinoco is the 18th. So we're going Friday the 16th, we're holding. Per Laguna, the 17th Saturday, and Sunday the 18th in Orinoco. Next artist, you introduce yourself. Tell me what song All right, all right. Morning, all my people, you know. My name is El King. And I come in from seeing a next song to you know. Well, my song name, Rankin's Thinking Thing. And it goes so. 
I have something to yand and nobody never go there go down there tonight Reggae stinky ding hallin gal Reggae stinky ding hallin boy Yeah, representing you don't need me a for This is for all my people, for all my city and bless our hope on the rich The whole thing for all enjoy and we pass it good yeah. Alright, alright, who else we got in the studio? What well, other good BSS artists we got in the studio? Look at here what song we got coming up Yo, yo, para toda la gente de Bluefield, aquí les saluda Mr. Lion. Estamos invitando a toda la gente que pueda participar en el concierto que tendremos el 16 de mayo, claro que sí, en la cancha de Big Holding. Así que le invitamos a toda la población costeña porque vamos a tener cultura 100%, un grupo que viene desde Nuevo México con música de Palo de Mayo, 100% los artistas de Bluefield Sound System. Así que le invitamos a toda la población costeña para venir a disfrutar de lo que es nuestra cultura. You don't know, Mr. Lion in the house. Yeah. What's up, you think? Um, la canción que yo voy a cantar se llama Give Me Let Give Me Let, Give Me Let La canción va así más o menos With the coconut and cassava Break food that china banana No forget the stuff and the pepper Give Me Let, Give Me Let Yo, Give Me My Rondo, My Baby Just because I get in crazy I no want to get too lazy Give Me Let, Give Me Let Bluefield, Give Me Let, 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 Give Me Let you know, for all the people from Bluefield, this is Mr. Lion and Bluefield's assistant all with right. Rebiba. All right. Yeah. So as night fell uh, in Bluefields on Friday night in Beholden neighborhood, we were really a little bit nervous. We wanted to make people dance. Um, and we were hoping that we could share our our music and that they would accept it i know that they they love to dance there so that was going to be sort of the mission of the night is to get everyone dancing so i feel like the community also was really excited for for us to play they hadn't had hosted a live concert from anyone really outside nicaragua in almost 10 years since lucky dube came uh, and played in Bluefield, so they were really excited and, and anxious to, to hear some live music. So night fell and, and it was go time, you know, as we were walking up onto the cancha, which is the basketball court, I remember that you could feel a certain energy in the air. It was about 95 degrees and very humid, everyone was already sweating. Um, but the community leaders were there and showing their support and and people were ready. As we started the jam, we started with some s slow reggae with a new song called Waria and uh, and slowly got got the the costeños used to our music and I think they really loved it. Um they warmed up slowly little by little or little by little as they say and they ended up following uh, the young children, you know, and the older people, and eventually everybody wa was on the dance floor. And so we knew we had accomplished our, our mission of truly experiencing a moment together and dancing, forgetting about uh, the worries for the moment and enjoying yourself. As we were walking out of Beholden Barrio or neighborhood, uh, you know, it is known as one of the more dangerous parts of, of Bluefields and so people had warned us to to watch our backs and be safe but it was amazing walking out of there at near two in the morning and nearly every house or car that went by was shouting Reviva um, and and thanking us for for what we had done so we really felt like we had uh, given that community a sense of pride uh, and a sense of hope for the future. And that was one of the highlights of the trips. <laughs> the next day for me is probably one of the most special days of my life because I got to return to Pearl Lagoon uh, with, with my family and sort of unite my two families. So that day was a very special day for me. We boarded the panga at nearly 7 a.m. and it's about an hour ride, which is something that, uh, you know, I, I, it's a panga ride that I became very accustomed to and got to know the routine and the good food around the, the panga. And so um, 
it, it brought back a lot of memories for me. As we entered into Pearl Lagoon, you know, we, I got to present some of the bandmates to uh, my family from Pearl Lagoon. And for me, that was a very memorable moment. They got to meet uh, my grandma from there. Everyone calls her granny, uh, Lucille de Salsa, who is 92 years old um, and lives alone. And she was really happy to meet the guys that she had heard about for two years as I went to visit her. Uh, they also got to meet Jimmy Anderson and and Foreign Martinez, some of my best friends and people who kept me safe while I was down there and their families, their daughters, Jaja and some of these these beautiful people and friends who took me into their homes and uh, showed me what it's like to, to really give and, and forgive and uh, really taught me a lot about life. I think it was also important for Reviva, all of my brothers, to see the community and where I had spent uh, two and a half years away from them. Uh, I missed Reviva a lot while I was down there. I missed the music and it was really important for me to, to unite the two families that I had been with, you know, and so it was really a time of, of pure joy walking around Pearl Lagoon and everyone shouting to us, sharing their food, uh, opening up their doors, sharing their drinks, their dance, their laughter, everything that they had to offer they shared with us and showed us about their culture. And that's what cultural exchange is about. It's not just us going but also learning uh, a lot from them. And I think for the other guys it was really a, a special moment. As we started to play that night in Pearl Lagoon, I felt a little nervous because I had been a teacher in that community for, for over two years, but they hadn't really seen me as a musician. And so I really wanted us to make a good impression on these people who I had come to know so well, um, you know, in a out, outside of music. So I really wanted to give them a special treat after all they had given to me and to us. Um, so as the concert started off, you know, we, we really wanted to make people dance again, but I think Pearl Lagoon hadn't seen a concert in an even longer time than Bluefield, so they had almost forgotten how to dance or what to do during a live concert. Um, so, you know, thank you to, to one of our best, one of my oldest friends and, and a role model to me while I was in the Peace Corps, William Poling. Uh, he was the brave enough one to, to stand up and be the first to dance and after that the floodgates open and um, you know that that is something that I think Pearl Lagoon really needed. They had forgotten how to dance um, and they remembered that so you know that's something that they gave to me and we were able to give back to them uh, and Pearl Lagoon I think is is one of the most unique places on earth so I think the rest of the guys won't forget that for a while. So the last leg of the trip took us to the Garifun community of Orinoco. Uh, it's about another 40 minutes up in the lagoon and it's a completely different community. The people of Pearl Lagoon are Creole people. They're a mix of Mesquito Indian and and uh, Afro-Caribbean people and so um, Orinoco offers a completely unique culture a little bit different from that in Pearl Lagoon. They claim to be some of the only uh, African people to arrive in Central America as free people and so the Garifuna culture is a very happy culture they are very musically and, and dance artistically oriented and you can feel that as soon as you step off the boat, uh, there, there's a certain vibe in the air that tells you that they are not foreigners to music and, and to culture and dance. So uh, as, we, as we set our bags down and, and took a walk around the community, we noticed that uh, they have a lot of great food, a lot of good music in the air. They also have a great rum over there, which is known as gifiti. Uh, and it's a mixture of natural rum and uh, 
and other healing herbs, and that really kept the blood warm and, and got the night going. So as we entered the, the stage, you could really feel um, the energy in Orinoco. You could feel that they weren't strangers to music, and the children there were excited. They were ready to dance. They knew uh, what to do at a concert. They were, they were animado, as you say in Spanish. They were very excited uh, to be there. And the unique thing about Orinoco was that they really had a set performance in which they uh, provided their own musicians and dancers. And they put on about two hours worth of, of really traditional dancing uh, and music, drumming. So we got, for us, that was a time to sit back and, and really take it all in and realize that... Uh, the project was becoming a success and had been a success in that uh, it wasn't a one-way street and it, as it should be, it's a two-way street in which uh, both Reviva and, and we as Americans got to learn um, from Central Americans uh, and, and not only that, but indigenous people and Costeños and Caribbean people, uh, what their culture was. And, so it was really a, a special time for us to enjoy that part. Um, I think Orinoco was probably one of the most fun nights for us because the pressure was off. It was the last night of the trip, and uh, we, knew, we felt like we had done a good job. So as the night ended, we decided to dance the maple, which was a big reason why we were down there. Uh, the maple dance is a celebration of fertility uh, and it's a symbol of the rains coming. Uh, it, it originates in Africa and so we were really celebrating an African tradition uh, in Nicaragua and we felt really lucky and humble to dance the dance as well or as bad as we may have. I think the community really appreciated that. Um, and that's why it was called the Maple Reggae Exchange. <laughs> 